building up towards retirement was a huge transitional change for me um, and a huge, um, you know, had a huge bearing on my life. I'd gone from being with, uh, you know, we played our last game of the season on a Sunday. I was with 30 of my best friends. We went out on the Monday, on Mad Monday as it's called, and then the Tuesday I'm sat at home thinking, you know, is this it? Is this, is this what's, uh, what, what's in store for me? And that was difficult. That was a difficult uh, period in my life, definitely. A number of years ago, my father got diagnosed with cancer, um, and that was a huge, that was a huge, um, you know, period for the for the whole family. You know, it was kind of like we didn't know which way it was going to go. We had a huge operation that needed to uh, to be undertook, so it's kind of uh, you know the the, the family galvanised. Um, I think it's a good good way of describing it, and it was kind of like you know we all changed our mentality and we all changed our perception of of where we are and it gave a, a bit of a, a perspective of uh, a bit of reality as well and that was uh, something where I think we've become stronger as a family through my father's adversity really. We've all got mental health, just some of us have got better mental health than others um, and personally from my own point perspective and point of view um, you know hindsight's a wonderful thing but I think back in the day when I started to realise that things wasn't going the way I wanted them to or my thinking wasn't quite right and my feelings wasn't quite right I should have spoke about it there and then you know I, it's not like I didn't have a network of people that I could tap into and speak to I did but I just didn't use them whereas now in hindsight it would have been you know the better thing to do when um, I'd have had the confidence back then or the uh, ability to go out and just talk to them then I certainly would have done.